Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Web Genie. In today's video, we are going to create a code generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any time, let us begin. Here I have created three files. One is an HTML file called index.html and another is a CSS file styles.css and a JavaScript file script.js. Now I am creating a div with the class name called container inside the body of my HTML and I am giving a h1 heading random code generator. So I have created the basic HTML layout in my uh, index page and now we will start creating the codes. So for that I am creating a paragraph uh, with an id code. So here the codes will be randomly generated inside this paragraph and uh, there is a button so when you click on this uh, button a new code will be generated each time when you click on this button so let us see how we are going to develop this and now add the source and the script links in the html so that these files can will be uh, linked to now in the style.css i'm adding a background color of uh, burly wood and inside the container I am going to give another uh, color and a width so that it becomes like a box so we can add the necessary styling to the container I am adding a margin a background color Let us give a um, background color of red, Indian red for now. We will change the color and styling later as well. And I am adding the uh, text align to the center. Now for the H1, uh, I am giving a margin top of 0 for this. And for our paragraph, that is the coat, I am giving a font size for that. So it is 1.5 EM. We can you can even give a font style to it. Now for the button, I'm going to give a basic styling for my button as well. Like a background color of blue violet. and the color of the text as white inside the button so the generate uh, code text will be displayed in white now let us add the CSS part to it so here I am creating a variable quotes which carries uh, which is an array of strings so inside this quotes uh, array we will keep the uh, different codes that we wanted to be displayed inside that box now I'm creating another variable code display uh, which gets the ID of the our paragraph that is we have displayed in the uh, HTML And then also another I am creating another variable generate button which tags to the uh, button of our HTML <coughs> that is inside the HTML page. 
now i am creating a function generate quote and in that i am uh, just uh, giving a random uh, so that it will select the ran uh, always select the random uh, quote from the array the same way how we generate a random number the same way i have used the uh, math dot random function here now inside the generate code generate button add event uh, listener i will add my function so when we when you click on that uh, generate button the generate code method will be triggered now let us just uh, run this so before that we need some codes so i'm uh, from the uh, from google i'm just uh, taking some random codes inside my array if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing it means a lot and it inspires me to make more uh, useful videos in the future do share this video with all your friends and family Now let us run our application and see what's happening. So here uh, the application is working fine, but I literally didn't like the UI. So let us uh, add some CSS and let us uh, change the color. So I am going to remove that ugly uh, Indian red color from the. It does not match with the background. So now uh, the color ha has changed, but I wanted to change the background blue to white because it does not look good here. I personally do not find it beautiful. So let us add little more detailing to our CSS. so i am adding a padding of 20 pixels and a box shadow so that uh, the container will be like it stands out as a, as a, a box since we add a uh, shadow and for that uh, quotes i am giving a margin as well as a margin bottom and for the button i'm giving a border radius of 5 pixels and a padding so now it looks far better and i really like the outcome now so if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon